the Shiki Science Show clips. And one thing I just wanted to quickly ask you before I forget, so she mentioned about fertility and has, have you seen in any of your studies any link between NAT plus um, like uh, levels and fertility? Because I know there's a lot of in the news about in the fertility crisis. Yeah, yeah. we basically started, um, you know, this, the, the connection with, with women's health and family health in um, an experiment that we published in 2019. It's ear um, at all and um, in cell reports. And um, you can see in the supplementary figure that we did an experiment with, um, that we did two initial experiments and one didn't work very well and one was amazing. And so we went with amazing. And then we have a kind of a follow-up but we wanted to look at the ability of nicotinamide riboside to, um, you know, promote uh, fertility in overweight and metabolically challenged um, black six mice. So they were on a high fat diet and then we tried to get them pregnant with and without NR. And there was, there was basically only one, you know, term pregnancy and it was in high fat with NR and high fat with NR, high fat without NR, couldn't even get the mice pregnant. But you can't do a lot of analysis when you have one, you know, litter of a supplemented mom and no litters of non-supplemented moms. And, you know, it's just, so there was, that's in a 2019 paper that NR might be helping mom get pregnant, particularly if she has metabolic challenges. But what happened in the normal chow side was really amazing. You think of mouse chow as being very nutritious stuff and it has all the vitamins that it's supposed to have in it. It's been formulated. It has B3 equivalents in it. And yet the mice that were given additional nicotinamide riboside did much better. They had um, uh, their, their, during the course of their uh, being co-housed with the pups, which is basically the nursing period, um, the, the mice were uh, bigger and more resilient if the mom was NR supplemented and the moms lost weight. And that we were able to attribute that to greater milk production. And it turned out to be linked to um, a better neurodevelopmental um, uh, time course for the offspring. And not only did their motor skills advance better if mom was supplemented, but their whole life trajectory was better. And their body composition was better um, at three months, which is a very much of, a, of an adult uh, rodent. And so uh, we, they, they, could be, they, could be, they could be bigger at weaning and then they could be leaner a, as adults. It was quite remarkable. And they had better you know, motor learning skills and uh, Morris water maze performance and they had lower anxiety scores, uh, if you believe mouse anxiety scores. And so it was, it was quite an amazing thing. And a lot of other people have do, are doing things with, 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 with uh, NAD boosting in, in maternal health as well. That's really interesting. And um, so you just looked at females, right? Or was there any, did you look at spam counts in males or anything? It was just females. I don't think that our group has done um, sperm count. Um, that that could be interesting as well. Yeah, you can come and do a post <laughs> um, uh, I mean, re- reproductive aging is really, really interesting. For sure, yeah. And it's something that, that it's that it, there's very unique features of it in in human, um, like the existence of menopause, right? So you know, a woman half of a woman's lifetime is beyond her. Um, age of reproductive capability that that i think is because human babies are so inept at getting their own food and and being able to 
be you know, protected from predation, that in human evolution, we needed not only mothers, but grandmothers. But um, so, uh, so there's some rapidly evolving, evolving genes that relate to, to aging. Um, and then the difference between male and female is interesting as well. Yeah, I was about to ask you, is there any sex specific differences just in any of these um, NL studies that you've done? Sex specific In terms of like efficacy, I guess. Studies that we've done. Um, I, not so much that we've done. I have to say that our first high fat thing um, was a male only. Isn't that terrible? And, and, um, and then we did the whole, then we did this thing that was all female. And, oh, but we did look at, at the PUP um, scores and there were male and female differences in, in a number of the, of the figures. I can't cite you every single difference, but there were some differences, yeah. Okay, but this, you think it's something that we should probably pay more attention to like going on? We should. Okay. Absolutely. I sure am now, yeah. Okay.